was talking to a bishop from the Church of England um, at one point, um, and uh, he said to me, so what do you do? Mm. So I said, well, I am um, a passionate biblical scholar. I preach regularly. I'm a reader mm. in the Church of England. Mm. I'm a member of, the, member of the General Synod. I'm a canon of various cathedrals in the <laughs> Church of England. And I went on with my very long sure? and quite dull biography. <laughs> And at the end, he asked me exactly that question. Are you in ministry? So, have you never felt called to ministry? <laughs> at which point, I, I almost what's grabbed here. him by his <laughs> neck to say, yes, I have been called to ministry. And guess what? I'm doing it. <laughs> it's just that I'm not doing it in an ordained capacity. Sure. I'm a lay person. And yeah. one of my big passions is actually for everyone to learn the confidence to say, I'm in ministry. And mm. I think everyone who's a Christian mm. is in ministry. Mm. So my first answer to your question is, yes, I have felt called to ministry, and yes, I am doing it. But what Just you're asking not specifically is, ordained have ministry. you been yeah. um, felt a not calling for ordained ministry? And also, yes, I have. Yeah. And for me, it was a really interesting experience because it confirms me in my ministry that I now mm. do that... Um, it was a, an, it was an, I had an unfortunate experience in which the person I was talking to had what I think were the wrong ideas. Okay. She thought that um, it was at the time when um, women were newly ordained into sure. the Church of England, and she thought it would be really dangerous to have academic women in the Church of England. Okay. You should just have kind of, kind of yeah. nice pastoral women. Okay. So she said to me, I had to choose mm. whether I wanted to be an academic or whether I wanted to be ordained. Interesting. Okay. At which point I stuck my nose in the air and walked away. <laughs> and what was quite interesting for me was that the choice was clear. Mm. There was no doubt in my mind that I was called to academic theology. Sure. Um, and if I had to choose, I would choose academic theology over mm. pastoral ministry. She was quite wrong. Mm. And the church does need academic w women just as it needs academic men. It doesn't mean need just academic sure. women or men, sure. but it does need them. Yeah. Um, but what was really helpful for me is that was really clarificatory. Right. Is that I chose academia yes. with the door open that at some point God might call me mm. to ordain ministry, but mm. never has. And that's great, as far Ab as I'm concerned. Absolutely. W where, when did your passion for theology and the Bible and, and the, specifically the academic study of it kind of emerge? Was this in your, your teens? Kind of in my teens. Um, I was a weird teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Probably much still, still weird now, it must be said. Um, and, you know, when everyone else was off partying and doing what teenagers do, I was at home learning Latin and Greek <laughs> because course. I felt like it. <laughs> and um, and I thought I wanted to do classics. I've, I've always loved Latin and Greek, you know, mm. really kind of passionate about it. Um, and so I prepared myself for um, pr uh, um, applying to university to do classics. And I actually had the form in front of me. And I got to the box where it said, what subject do you want to do? And I thought classics and wrote theology. And it was one of those real kind of How interesting. vocational it's, moments. It was like you, you were going all the way along, you were like yeah. classics, 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 and then at the point you filled the box in, yeah, I wrote theology. you wrote theology. <laughs> yeah. And okay. then obviously I had to kind of do a big quick rethink about where I wanted to do it and what that, yeah. all that was about. And it was one of those just, it was mm. most remarkable experience yeah. of God. Yeah. Where I, it was almost as though I felt someone else was moving the pen wow. and writing theology. So that was kind of one, one experience. Yeah. Is I, I've loved ancient texts for a long mm. time. I always loved the Bible. You know, I was brought up loving the Bible. Mm. And so those two came together. But um, the other thing, which was a really important point at that, at that stage, was so therefore I, I, I needed to work out where to go to study theology. Mm. Um, and um, I rather fancied um, going to Oxford. I, was, I went to school in Moss Side, where you don't normally go mm. to Oxford from. And um, I went, well, why not? And various people went, oh, you'll never get in from Moss Side. So my personality went, oh, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, why don't I apply? Yeah. But because I didn't know anything about Oxford, mm. nothing um, in kind of my experience mm. told me anything about Oxford University, I rather superficially chose the college that I applied to by whether it had a lake or not. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was one right at the back of the uh, prospectus that had a lake. And I went, oh, it's really pretty. I'm actually nice. going there. So um, I applied for it. And which college was it? That was Worcester College. Okay. Where it so turned out that N.T. Wright was tutor. Ah, that was a fortuitous... Yes, uh, wasn't it just... Of... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can call it what you like. Um, fortuitous or maybe God had something to do with it going, you know, God, God, the leak, the leak. <laughs> and, um, and from there... My absolute right. love of New Testament sure. blossomed. It is impossible to be in a room with Tom Wright and not get excited about the New Testament. I had three years of him exciting wow. me about the New Testament. Well, that that is, I mean, yeah, what a great start to mm. to to, yeah. to that. It's evidently, N.T. Wright, Tom Wright has had a big effect then in shaping 
possibly the way you've gone on and, and the kind of focus you've had, obviously yes. his his focus being on the New Testament, mm. especially in Paul and, and all the work yes. he's done on that. And you similarly have, have also gone on and, and Absolutely. focused. Absolutely. Yes, that's right. Yes. That and Paul well. is, is, I mean, we have a slightly different area, whereas mm. Tom's, oh, I mean, does Tom have a specialist area? <laughs> it is the world and everything. <laughs> but his most specialism is kind of Ro- Romans type literature, yeah. whereas my specialism is two Corinthians. Yeah. But it's a fine difference. And... <laughs> Tune in to The Profile Interview in association with Christianity Magazine every Saturday at 4pm only on Premier Christian Radio where faith comes to life.